was we wrap up our section on uh, putting together Bionic Builder or Bionic Beaver for building Android uh, in VirtualBox and uh, whether you're setting this up on a regular machine or if you're using VirtualBox I just wanted to take a minute to uh, highlight a few things that are important. The first is that uh, you really do need at least 8 gigs of RAM assigned specifically to the virtual machine or the, the real machine. Um, previously I was using uh, only 8 gigs of RAM for my entire computer. I was able to upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM and uh, also put in a uh, SSD uh, solid state hard drive which uh, makes the machine boot a lot faster. I still have to keep uh, the bigger files um, on a larger hard drive that is not an SSD, but uh, that's okay. Um, it's still the system works a lot faster in general. But so I wanted to point out a few things. If you've already put together um, your virtual machine and you want to make some changes to it, I covered this a little bit before when we looked at uh, using VirtualBox and I just wanted to touch on it uh, again here specifically for um, our Bionic Beaver. Um, as you can see I've gone through and, and made some changes but the big thing is if you hit settings and you go to system you can now change everything from your base memory uh, which I recommend at least 8 gigs uh, assigned just to your system and a processor, you know, as many as you can without endangering your um, host system. And you notice here that you have the red indicating where that would start to become dangerous. And so you can actually just uh, move the slider. I would recommend, if possible, at least um, meet where the green and the red meet to give your system the most uh, most uh, access to um, to system resources. And um, those are those are the big things I wanted to show you there but also I ran into an interesting problem and I don't think it will happen again today but uh, very important uh, thing to consider is uh, when I started up the machine I had a uh, serious display corruption is what they call it and right now it looks like that's not going to happen when I fired up this time I tried a couple times to see if I could capture it. Uh, it does happen occasionally to me randomly and so it's, uh, it's a very interesting phenomenon but what happens is uh, after it goes through and checks to make sure uh, the system is ready to start instead of showing this Ubuntu like you see now you see it sort of stretched and it's uh, multicolored and very strange looking um, pixelated with uh, you know multiple colors um, in and out of the the view and uh, looks looks quite terrible and if you run into that problem there's a very easy way to fix it now the key is to use your right control uh, button on your keyboard um, and that's because mine is set for the right control the default is to use the right control but if you've changed the control that talks specifically to your machine you would have to use that one the one whatever one you set it to but if you notice if I push the right control button on my keyboard it actually illuminates or de-illuminates the, uh, the little icon here and that shows whether the keyboard is captured or not so what you can do is you push your right control until this goes out and then you push uh, your right control button and F1 which currently just changed uh, my screen there there we go so F1 um, and then you can hit F7 and the reason being is then you'll go to another prompt and you can push F1 again to get back to your regular screen and what this does is it you actually have uh, multiple instances uh, available to you where you can log in on the different interfaces to the system uh, for instance control F7 um, we can see here there's actually nothing on the screen control F6 you can see there's a virtual uh, login right there that allows you just to log in in text form um, and there's five and four and three and two and one one is typically the only instance that's displaying the graphical user interface so by pressing that control button right control and pushing you know F2 through F7 somewhere in there 
you actually jump away from the graphical user interface and then you press control the right control F1 and you go back to the graphical user interface and it will actually fix that weird looking display and uh, hopefully I was really hoping to catch a catch it on video so I could show you but it happens uh, every now and then to me and I thought I would share that with you in case maybe you saw that problem and in the past what you may have decided to do is just go ahead and shut down the virtual machine start it back up and you know sometimes it works better so if you if you see that problem where you have that pixelated um, strange looking screen go ahead and just press that right control um, F7 and then F1 and uh, it should fix your display for you just like it fixed mine uh, earlier today so wanted you to be aware of that and to see that as well um, too bad we couldn't actually capture it on video um, but uh, just really handy being able to use uh, VirtualBox um, to uh, to utilize the multiple different uh, building environments at once especially if you're building for several different variants of phone or variants that are using different versions of Android which you'll need different versions of tools like Java. Uh, I also want to take a minute to mention that uh, all uh, next week I will not be posting any videos because I'm taking a little break for Christmas. I uh, wish you all a very Merry Christmas and uh, hope that you uh, enjoy the holidays and uh, have a uh, have a good time with uh, family and friends. And um, But I look forward to uh, picking things back up. Uh, I believe probably uh, on the 31st uh, for the New Year's Eve, but uh, have some plans to uh, jump in and uh, show some videos on building Team Win Recovery Project Device Tree from scratch. So that should be really excited. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, my sister got a new phone, and so uh, I got her old phone, and it's uh, it's really great when I have new toys to play with. So this phone has never had Team Win Recovery Project built for it, and uh, I'm looking forward to the adventure. Uh, with you guys to uh, try to uh, right that wrong and uh, hopefully we'll get that working and uh, you know add more useful phones out there for uh, people to uh, utilize so look forward to seeing you after the break thank you so much for uh, uh, watching here on my channel and uh, hopefully these videos are helpful to you